Pan Fam in a daytime exclusive. The critically acclaimed Trevante Rose and Shamir Anderson are here. many things to talk to you about. And it is not like me to uh, him and haw over someone's physical appearance, because obviously <laughs> you're brilliant actors. But what I do is I, I am a medium for the audience. I ask what they want me to ask. <laughs> and I'm a medium for my team. So when I ask you inappropriate questions, it is not me, okay? It's not me, it's them. Do you look in the mirror in the morning, Shamir? Oh, <laughs> Here we and go. And do you Here say, dang? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> um, I, I wake up in the morning, when I look in the mirror, I go, man, I want to be like Trevante Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, nice pivot, because Trevante, I didn't ask you that question, because I was on your social media when you just got a new haircut, a beard right. trim, <laughs> the whole video, look at, oh! <laughs> Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh. <laughs> be so, like that. When you are doing this into the camera, what, what's, is this acting or is this you? No, that's me. It's you? That's just me, baby. Oh, that's just you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, let me adjust my top. Yeah. So, <laughs> Well, that's interesting you say that because we first met in 2016 when Moonlight had premiered and everyone was talking about this movie. Yeah. And you were, there you are. Yeah. Very shy. Yeah. Very different mm. than now. Mm. Who's that guy? That is, I guess someone who was kind of trying to find his bearings. Mm. And now I'm a man, so I know who I am. Yeah. So a lot has changed. Yeah. I mean, you don't think about that because you burst onto the scene, 2016. Yeah. Unknown, you had been a track star. Yeah. And then someone saw you jogging and said, he's got it, that's the legend. Was essentially, it essentially it was, uh, yeah. Basically this lady was walking with this theater professor who had been trying to get me to dip into acting for a couple years at the time. And you know, I waved at him and this lady was just kind of, I guess, taken with what she saw. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, this is live TV and we're all blushing in here. Shamir, yes. your story is, is interesting in so many ways. You weren't jogging in track shorts, mm -hmm. but you were this kid in Toronto, in Canada, who yeah. had a dream and went to LA. You had a million, like myself, a million jobs between the thought of being an actor or wanting to be an actor, because mm -hmm. it was something that was in your heart and it coming true. You were a DJ. Mm -hmm. How many other jobs? Because it was I a list DJ. of them. You still DJ. I still DJ. Yeah, I still DJ. Um, I did bar mitzvahs. You know, I was a dancer. Uh, you were a dancer I and a, a DJ? Dancer. I did everything, trying to make a buck to have a dream to move to Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. Because both of you now, and first of all, Bruiser is, is absolutely beautiful. Variety is spot on when it says insightful. As a kid who, I was raised by my stepfather and I have a complicated biological father. This really resonated with me in so many ways. But your stories, both being raised by single women yes. and then having this dream mm -hmm. to leave Canada, a whole nother country and go to LA with nothing. Nothing. My mother was an immigrant from Jamaica. You know, a black woman. <laughs> We raised three boys on our own. And um, they used to tell us, you know, living in the projects in Canada that we were at risk, you know, and so my mom used to say you're at risk of being extraordinary. So that's my mom and my brother, Stefan James, who's oh. also an actor. He was uh, also in a Barry Jenkins movie, yes, if Bill yes, Street can yes. talk. And uh, my mother believed in us, and that was her first time actually, you know, in Los Angeles with us at the Golden Globes. And, you know, for her, it was all about humility, perseverance, and overcoming adversity. So I got all my thanks to my mother, Carmelita, who was really beautiful. And Trevante, it's the same for you. Absolutely. 
Yeah, for me personally, I just, I saw my mother elevate just throughout the years. Yeah. When we moved to Texas from Louisiana and constantly moving, constantly seeing her elevate every year and hustling on her own, crying at the dinner table because we couldn't afford whatever. That just puts something in you to make you want to go as hard as you can. No matter what it is that you're trying to do, mm. you're going to get it done. Cause... You're going to get it done. Mm -hmm. And you both have gotten it done in a beautiful and, as I, I keep saying the word complicated, because this movie is so complicated, because I think a lot of people relate to it on so many levels. When we come back, we're going to talk about Bruiser, what brought Trevante and Shamir together, and the 25-year-old sensational director behind this must-see movie after the break. I mean, why come back now? Well, you know, man, six years in the Air Force, no time out in Vegas, just trying to find my way. Everything just let me back here, you know, let me back home. See you guys and Darius, my family. Welcome back. We're live, Tam Fam. That was a scene from the film Bruiser, the family drama about a teenage boy searching for a fatherly connection and wisdom. It's premiering on Hulu tomorrow. Two of the stars, Travante Rhodes and Shamir Anderson, are still with us in a daytime exclusive. We're also joined now by the director and co-writer of Bruiser, Miles Warren. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Miles, you're extraordinary in so many ways. You're now 25. Yep. You are the youngest, you have the first feature, your first feature film at this young age. Mm -hmm. um, and this started out as a short film. Yeah. Yeah, I made the short film right after I graduated from college. Um, I had the feature film script first, and then um, I wrote with a best friend of mine from college named Ben Medina, and we were writing it for a long time, and then we kind of distilled it down into the short film and then made that, and off of the success of the short film, we were able to make this feature film. I always wonder, of course, like what is going on in someone's life when they touch on something like this? This is one of those third rails, which is fatherhood. Yeah. And what a father is and what yeah. a father looks like. And also, are you able to redeem yourself after mistakes? Right. It's a lot here. Yeah. What was going on in your life? For me, it's it's because I think this movie is also a coming of age film, yeah. right? It's in the perspective of Darius, the young boy in the film, and so I, a lot of me is how he navigates his, you know, anger and how he grows into himself and and how he navigates these two father figures and, and looking um, at their qualities and, and distilling them down for for his journey. Jalen Hall was just in Till, the movie Till. So he also, I mean, you have these two brilliant actors hot on the rise, and then you have one of the most talked about young people in Hollywood right yeah. now. I'm very Trifecta lucky. Trifecta of greatness. Very, very lucky, yeah. very lucky. But yeah, Jalen is incredible, so smart, so talented. It was like a, you know, a gift from God, the way he just wanted to play this role and knew what to do in every moment, so yeah. Shamir, for you, I mean, mm -hmm. when you have a bucket list of films, you're gonna be in this blockbuster with Keanu Reeves. You're just with Halle Berry, who was on our show recently. But then you do, a, a a film like this, mm -hmm. not that those aren't important, but this again goes back to life. Right now, there's a kid who's wondering, is my dad gonna step up? Mm -hmm. Or has a stepfather who mm -hmm. has stepped up? Mm -hmm. This is real mm -hmm. in a different way. What is that like when you go home and think about your own childhood? I mean, I never had a father growing up, so my, my, my father was my mother, my mother was my father. And so for me, pulling from my lived experiences to channel what I did for Malcolm was uh, true to form. You know, I was able to really use the experience of struggle, of pushing through, you know, similar to my character Malcolm who had a smile on his face the entire time. Yeah. You know, and what I want to highlight on this film that's so important is I love that you got one stepfather wanting to love his son, but also his real father, and you have two black men wanting to be present yeah. in each other's lives, yeah. which I think is so important. Which so. is so important. Trevante, you are a dad, you have a two-year-old. Um, obviously, you're an actor, so you're going to pull from the, the script, but you can't run from one's life. Your expectation of being a father, knowing that you were raised by a single mom, how did that shape who you are as the dad that you are today? Well, in every way, that's the main reason for my involvement in this piece. This is the first piece that, as a company, we had the opportunity to help yeah. champion. And so, dedicating it to my son, you know, my firstborn, 
you know, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And for his first birthday, I gifted him Porter's jacket. And so when he's old enough to wear it, I'll let him watch the film. And it's that kind of, like, I like to do things like that. It's an art piece, but it's, it's love, you know? It is love. love. And you see the love in there. I do, because you are an artist. You did also bring, you brought me a gift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and painted you slipped it. it in my hand. I did. You painted this. Painted every page. Wrote every poem in there. It's my piece. Beautiful. Shamir, you gave me a different gift. <laughs> you tell them what happened? In the commercial break, I said to Shamir, what's your favorite song since you DJ? You said? I said Pony by Genuine. Pony by Genuine. So make sure you go to our social media because there I am in the commercial break doing the pony with Shamir. That's how my morning's going. How's your day going? <laughs> Get it up! Get it up! Get it up! Well, uh, congratulations, Miles. I know that this movie is the is a part of now the Onyx Collective, mm -hmm. which is a hugely important collection of films of uh, of directors and actors underrepresented, black and brown. And I'm so proud that Disney backs this show and backs the Onyx Collective as well. So congratulations on everything, and thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And as mentioned, Onyx Collective's Boozer comes out tomorrow on Hulu. I'm telling you, you will never forget what you see on that screen. It is absolutely mesmerizing.